Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Eric over at Sharky's Paradise. Again, uh, we got some fun pieces to show you this week. This week we got to tattoo down at the Denver Villain Art Show, which was super fun. I did a mechanical breakthrough on a leg. Really fun piece, pretty straightforward. Had a lot of fun with it. Another piece that I did down at the convention was uh, mountains on a dude's shoulder. Uh, we had a good time with that piece. It was pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, we had some malfunction in our stencil machine, so it was a nice freehand piece because I got to do it with uh, just a skin marker. Hell yeah, good job. Thank you. Congratulations, good job, dog. I did a ton of stuff this week. Permanent makeup, lots of permanent makeup, piercings, nailed all the different spots on your body, and managed to shop per usual. <laughs> all right, so we had a really super awesome time at the Villain Arts Tattoo Convention. That was my first time ever tattooing permanent makeup at the Villain Arts Tattoo Convention, and I couldn't thank them enough for having me there. That was really, really awesome. Um, I did do some permanent makeup there and one of my ladies, she was getting tattooed by Alex and she didn't speak English so it was great to have that communication. Alex and I were in the same booth so we were able to communicate what shape she wanted, what color she wanted. She had just seen me tattooing another girl's brows and she absolutely fell in love. She's seen them in person so she said I'm next. Um, I'm not sure if we have any photos of the other gal I did, but she came into the shop a couple weeks before coming to the convention and wanted to get her brows done, but I didn't have any availability, so she showed up to the tattoo convention and we did her brows. We were really, really picky and super precise and I made it happen. I was patient, my client was patient and I had a blast tattooing permanent makeup at the convention. It was really cool. All right guys, I always got designs up for grabs. I don't have pictures of them, but things that I do have up for grabs are some roses with some jewels, and I got a couple little mandalas with roses. I have a really pretty face with some flowers, and that's really it. But you can come see me for some pretty stuff, for some glittery stuff, some fun stuff, or you know, the designs that I draw on you, like eyebrows and lips and freckles, I just freehand those. So you can come see me, I'll draw them on you. We'll get them done, we'll make you beautiful. We'll get your lipstick looking good so you don't have lipstick on your white glass. Piercings, I just freehand them, so come see me. Those are all up for grabs, guys. Most of the time, my strategy at a convention is to bring a piece that's noteworthy on Friday and work as many days of the convention in a row on that piece as I can. So this particular week, I was able to have Jesse, a man, come back for his sweet ass dragon cover up. Not a dragon. How's the tattoo going so far? Great. Be a great tattoo. What's up, guys? Uh, okay. I'm, I'm hanging in there. Yeah, I'm hanging in there. Okay. Yeah. I'm a dragon originally. Oh, yeah. To a tiger. Yeah, this is the dragon, yeah, tiger. What made you change your mind? Uh, we started just looking at different ideas for my back. It's pretty fucking sweet as you can tell. Uh, we haven't quite got to the scales yet, but this fur is looking great. So, pretty happy. Sick dragon, bro. Sick dragon, bro. <laughs> yeah. It was not a dragon. Jesse came in and we were able to start the layout for this particular tattoo cover-up uh, in the shop and we spent eight or ten hours the first session on that just laying out black and putting on her design we drew it all on with brushes and liquid carbon just really spent some time getting it to cover right that's really the hardest part about cover up for me is trying to figure out the scale on which i need to do something to make it look like a natural image when we're done thankful that i was able to get that started beforehand Oh, whoa! 
parts of the convention were just, you know, like making those memories, having our kids there, having our kids put on temporary tattoos on everybody. Cliff and Chloe are so good at that. They've been doing it since they were five, six years old at the tattoo conventions in New York. And it seems like every convention we go to, they just get better and better, more knowledgeable. They're expert stencil stickers. So they can put on stencils like a champ. So if anybody needs someone to put on a stencil for you, give them a call. What's up everybody, it's the Charky Kids. I'm Chloe Dog. I'm Python. I'm Viper. Uh, I'm Black. We went to the convention and I got to sell temporary tattoos and Chloe there, she was helping me like a lot. Me and Cliff, we did temporary tattoos. We made some summer money. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing. I'm getting a face tag, my first one. <laughs> Perfect. How's it look? Oh, it's looking great so far. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's up, Kevin? What up? We had a stopping point. We are. I gotta collect my thoughts. What's up everyone, it's Devin down at Sharky's Paradise. Welcome back to another weekly recap. The convention, the convention was super exciting. Very overwhelming at first, but once you got in the swing of things, it was it was really fun and just like very fast paced. A lot of stuff happening around you, a lot of stuff to be a part of. So I had this gentleman come up, he wanted a pumpkin. I was like, what kind of pumpkin? Like, are you a pumpkin planter or do you like jack-o'-lanterns? And he was like, no, I want like a spooky little jack-o'-lantern. Uh, we found an image online real fast and I drew it up real quick and we made a couple little changes to it. And he got this good, decent sized jack-o'-lantern on his leg. It was really fun to do. It came out super cute, I think. Oh, I don't want to say cute. Badass. 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 Never mind. It's cute. It was a cute tattoo, okay? I got to do another really exciting opportunity at the convention. This lady came up to me. She was recommended by one of our other, uh, I think the owner of Tattoo Lovers Care sent her my way. Um, so she had a name of an ex on her neck and we don't really like those type of tattoos around here. So we covered it right up. So she's got a kind of whimsical thing going on with all her tattoos. And so she wanted a big rainbow butterfly on her neck to cover that up. It was a really fun challenge trying to cover black with color and make it work so that you can't really see the name anymore. And we definitely accomplished that. You cannot see the name anymore. So we got this huge butterfly on the side of her neck. It looks awesome. And she's got some twinkles flowing down onto her chest. It was very exciting to get to do that tattoo. I had a lot of fun. It was really nice to talk to her as well. She's a very lovely lady. What's up everybody? It's Devin over at Sharky's Paradise. We are here at the Villain Arts Convention. It's been freaking amazing. I definitely had a panic attack this morning. Had a Red Bull, all better. Having a great time. Um, I'm about to tattoo my dad. It's my first tattoo on one of my family members besides my little sister, which doesn't count because it was in my living room. So I am really looking forward to finally giving a professional tattoo to one of my family members, <laughs> proving them wrong about my wasted college experience. <laughs> so uh, super exciting day, been very fun all around. Yeah. All right. Another very exciting thing happened at the convention. My dad decided to stop by, so we ended up starting on his leg piece. This is the first tattoo I've got to do on a family member that is not my little sister having to hide it from my mom. So um, my dad came by to get his first tattoo from me. It was very exciting. Um, we're gonna turn it into a roll of uh, film strip. It's gonna have a bunch of different little scenes going on in it. So at the convention, we just decided to lay out the, the outline for that. So he's just got four little bands going across his leg and it was, uh, it was really fun to get to tattoo a family member and I am going to hopefully be seeing him again. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I have a couple designs up for grabs. Uh, you can find them somewhere in the video. I've got a snake roaming through some roses. Um, that one's available in color or black and white always. Um, I also have a tarot card of a princess lady who has been eaten by a lion. She's got a couple little scratches, but overall she is the lion tamer. As you can see in the picture, she is friends with the lion now. So check them out. I did make a big ass tattoo on the whole leg. Oh, on the whole leg because we have, we can say bad words, right? How is it going, guys? I'm Alex. I work at Sharky's Paradise. So we were at the convention, Villain Arts. It was my first convention ever. I had this flash art that I took to the convention and some lady came by and it was amazing because she wanted a piece of my flash art. She loved it. It was just like a flower with a triangle shape. I obviously forgot to take pictures of it, but I'm glad that everybody took footage of it though. <laughs> So also we did a Bible verse on the neck. She had an amazing rose in her back. I was like, wow, I'm gonna do a tattoo. Tiny little one, right above that huge, amazing piece. And I, I was super proud of it. But yes, it was just Bible verse, little bit tricky. It wasn't a specific lettering. It was like, sometimes the most small and less detailed ones are kind of like the most hard pieces that you can ever do. But this one turned out pretty nice. I got my mom to go. She's just amazing. I love my mom so much. We walk around, uh, we just saw weird stuff. She is just like super curious with everything even though she doesn't speak English. ¿Cómo le parece la convención hasta el momento? Eh, muy bien, he visto cosas muy bonitas, muy maravillosas, personas muy diferentes y contenta de estar acá. She said basically that it's good, it's different, she liked it, there is a lot of weird things around, it's fun, she likes it. Anything else? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, muy, or, muy orgullosa de mi hija. And she's very proud of me. She was super patient with the few clients that came by and I got them tattoo and all that. I am very thankful for my mom and yes, it was great. <laughs> Uh, from Colombia. Colombia. Yeah. Look, I did this tattoo on her. Muestra de tatuaje. Oh, yes, that's beautiful. Muy bonita. Muy bonita. Gracias. <laughs> Also in the convention, like a couple of Colombians came by. They hear me talking to my mom in Spanish and they were like, oh my gosh, she speaks Spanish. And I was like, see, sí, I do. <laughs> uh, and then they wanted like their names on the wrist with like a crown with watercolor splash and like a really cute quote in Spanish. They loved it, it turned out pretty nice. And yes, thanks Viviana and Dennis for coming by and trust us and you know, get everything great at the convention. 